Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Scientific Names Explained. My name is Dylan Carvalho and today's episode is presented to you by Painted Dog TV. Now today I'm going to present to you one of the most famous and iconic animals of Africa, the plain zebra. Now as usually the scientific name is split into two parts, first one being equus, derived from Latin equinus, which means horse, and the second one, quagga, which is derived from koisan, which means something that is striped. So basically the scientific name means a horse that is striped, right? Now for me, I think it's really interesting that the second part, quagga, is derived from the Khoisan culture because most of the time scientific names are derived from Greek or Latin and this time I think it's just good that we also give credit to the cultures that have known these animals for thousands of years before even European naturalists have discovered the area. Now why do zebras actually have stripes? So lots of scientists actually disagree on that topic and there's many theories and theses about that and I'm going to present to you two very accepted theories. So the first one being that as they are being chased by lions or leopards or just any predator, as they move with a group, those stripes merge into one greater pattern, which makes it very difficult for those predators to single out one specific target. Because remember, most of those predators hunt at night and they see without color. So the black and white stripes actually become very, very useful in that so that they are perceived as one big thing and they can't be singled out as one target. So the second theory is that it actually helps with taking insect control. So the different temperatures of the black and white patches apparently irritates or disturbs the insects. And for a fact, there's been a study where they've painted cows in that specific pattern so to replicate the zebra. And they've realized and measured that they've been less bothered by insects and ticks. So this has been an approved theory by a study. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Aquas Quagga, the plain zebra. If you did so, please leave a like button and then subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss on any further content. And please make sure to visit our galleries as well and watch some other videos because we have some astonishing documentaries there as well. And then if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll gladly respond to them. And I'd say I'll see you in the next video.